how much God will love you forever. God said, Yes, I will. Yes, I will. As 
place of just love, God, in a place of openness to you, in a place, Father, we in, Father, not, not, not looking at what we don't want, but looking at what we do, looking at those things, Father, so we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, come on, let's just thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you for the freedom, we thank you for the wholeness, we thank you for the peace, we thank you for the joy, we thank you, Father, in Yeshua HaMashiach's name, we pray, amen. Amen and amen. Come on, can we just give God some glory? Because he is so worthy. And that's not cliche. And if it's cliche to you, let's just deal with that. Let's just deal with that because we, you know, um, Pastor Sean was saying how we can even become so familiar with God. Come on, let's not become familiar with him. He's not a man. He's not our peer. He is our King. He is our God. He is our Lord. He is our Creator. Hallelujah. So we're excited to just celebrate because this is a celebration time that we're going to, we're talking about. And Apostle talked about we're going to talk about the new year or the head of the year as Rosh Hashanah is translated into English. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know a little bit. You know what? I want to know more. Yeah. Come on, I'm not satisfied here. I want to know more because I want to walk in the fullness of God. I want to walk in authority and power. And that's my dream. And so when you, you guys are going to be hearing me saying, I'm seeking after my dream. I hear people talking about, I'm going after my dream. I'm going after my dream. And I say, God, what is my dream? And, and he just revealed it to me. He said, if it was just one thing, if you had one wish, one wish, what would it be? And I said, it's to go deeper with you, to know you fuller, to know you in, in such an intimate way. Because I understand that's the door, that's the, that's the gateway to everything. And I said, God, so now, I said, God, so now, are my dream and I'm going after my dream I'm seeking after my dream and so when you hear me say that coming up don't think it's nothing of this world <laughs> don't think it has nothing to do with and I'm not saying if that's your dream to be whatever whatever it is go for it but my dream is to deepen my relationship and go into a place and I want to walk in his power and his authority. Mm. So, yes, <laughs> welcome. I know, right? <laughs> welcome. So, let's get going. You guys, are you guys ready for the word? You, I know you guys have probably shared it out. Um, share it, share it, share it. We want those that, um, you may not be able to watch it live. That's okay. That's the beautiful thing, that you can go and watch it. And you're going to probably want to re-watch yes, this. Yes, 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 Okay? Yes. And so I'm going to turn it over to Apostle. But he's been doing so much talking, so he's just letting me kind of go. I have. Yes, I have. <laughs> he's Every letting me go. Day I've been coming for L U or for Ooh. those nuggets in the morning. Yeah. So if you've been missing that, please go back to our mm -hmm. uh, uh, page, BBD Her Ministries. And Come on. every day, uh, God gave a nugget of nugget. something or a way how we can improve ourselves. Mm -hmm. And that's how El Yul really is like a tag team. It leads mm -hmm. right into Rosh Hashanah. Yep. Like peanut butter and Come jelly, on. pepper butter. and salt. Come on. So those things hand it, in a glove. Hand Woo! in a glove. Yes, it works together. <laughs> so it, it does. It aligns us up. So Come he's on. like, well, you guys are talking about the new year. And it's like we're in September. What do you mean the new year? We mm. <coughs> celebrate the new year on the 1st oh, uh, of January. We do. That's when we do that. That's when all the shooting and everything happens. <laughs> and we're excited. And, all and, the parties and, 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 and the celebrations. And all the parties and the bo yeah. bottles are popping and all yeah. that stuff. Trust me, we were there. <laughs> I mean, we used to yeah. be a part of that. Right, so right, we, right. we understood that culture. But then God opened up a door and Come said, on, there folks. is a day. And when we think about just this, so how does it change? Because usually, like, it's every day. 
we have this set date, mm. but we know that the Hebraic calendar, it goes by the moon yes. and not the actual sun. Hallelujah. So your days are going to shift throughout the year, from year to year. Mm. So Rosh Hashanah may fall on one day in one year. It may fall on another day in the next yes. year. So it Come becomes on. important. But see, here's the thing is, is that we always be trying to be predictable. We say, okay, it's going to be the first. But God is saying, come on, tap into me. Come on. Tap into me. Find me. Search Woo! for me. Uh, so every year we have to look and find out, okay, when Wait, is it where going it's to gonna be? be? Where is it going to set at? Because all Woo! of the days, they shift. There is mm -hmm. no set day. Come on, day there is no set so, day. So we have to make sure that we understand that. And when we get that, we're always in position. Like yes. even with El Yule, with everything that's coming on, things are happening. Mm -hmm. Usually El, El Yule, things sometimes are allowed to happen mm -hmm. to cause people to go into repentance, right. to remember God, mm -hmm. to remember who he is, to remember that he is their king, to remember yes. that he is their Lord. And this is important because as we go into Rosh Hashanah, which means head of the new year, head of new year, head of the year, it becomes important for us to understand that because now we're going to be talking about that ceiling and the scribing. Mm -hmm. We're going to be talking about everything that it flows into that. And it becomes so important for us mm -hmm. to know mm -hmm. God's calendar. It, it, oh my goodness. I mean, I love that how you say it. We cannot predict God. Aren't, aren't you excited about that? Aren't you glad that God is unpredictable? Predict, I mean, to be able to predict things, that becomes stale and boring. Our God is fresh. I mean, he keeps it fresh. And I just, I'm so thankful. I love how you just brought that out. That just really resonated with me. Mm. And this time, I mean, and we just seek him. We seek him. We seek him. He wants us to seek him. He, he wants us to, um, he wants to be important to us. He knows who he is. It's not that he needs us to seek him because that gives him, um, that, that builds up his self-esteem. Come on now. But he knows no. who he is, but it's for our <laughs> no. benefit. Yes, it is. And so it's we're seeking him. It's for our benefit. And, you know, uh, Apostle's been taking us through with the nuggets, and he mentioned that about the nuggets, and we've been going through the nuggets because it's been... Um, just getting us ready for the new year. That's what it's been doing. El Yul gets you ready for the new year. You don't wait until you get to the new year, like in the world. You know, the worst is when they get to the day of the new year, then they begin resolutions. No, we begin changing prior. We end how we want to begin. Do you not understand that this is God? My, oh. God ways are not our ways. God's thoughts are higher than our thoughts. He is supreme. He is just, he's brilliant. He's brilliant. And so he wants to show us. He wants to show us those things that we know not of. And see, it becomes important. And I'm glad that you touched up on that because we, we, we got a lot to cover, so we're going to try to Come do on, the best go. that we can. Let's go, let's go. Uh, but uh, when it talks about, you talked about that new year, a lot of times people are making new year resolutions mm -hmm. and saying, hey, this is what I'm going to do. Yeah. I'm going to get healthier. Come I'm on. going to lose weight. I'm mm -hmm. going to do this. I'm going to be better with this. I'm going to be better mm -hmm. with that. But see, you're starting the year off like that. Right. Right? You're trying to start that. But see, God's calendar is different. It said, okay, I need for you to get this in right. before the new year before, starts. Come on. Come on. So he's having us to develop a habit. Yeah. Right? Because it takes 21 days yep. to develop a habit, come on. right? So we're having 30 days of LU of developing good habits, habits to get right before the new year so that we may be sealed and inscribed in, in those the, good in habits. It. In we, good habits. Right. We, call, we cross over the threshold in the newness. Yes. In the in the elevation. Come on, we're not trying to get to the elevation. <laughs> we cross over the threshold to elevation. Come on. And we and he talked about the ceiling. And I'm gonna let him go ahead. But this is so exciting because this this really broke some things off of me that I dealt with every year. Anxiety and 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 things, especially anxiety. It was really, really heavy. But um and I just wanna just talk about this because um, I just one year God just told me he said do not cross over into that because you get sealed in that mm -hmm. yeah. This is see these are spiritual things it, it is. It These really are spirit. Is. These are spiritual things and God and he told me and I was like and it just seems so simple But you know what we can't know unless God reveals it 
flesh and blood cannot reveal these things. It must be Holy Spirit. And it, when he said that, it seems so simple. I want you guys to not be sealed in whatever that thing is. Whatever it is you were battling with all year, let's not get sealed in it. Let's deal with it now. And I say, God, I don't want to I don't want to be sealed in anxiety anymore. I don't want to, you know, and then have to battle. I mean, it was manageable, but who wants to manage it when you don't have to? Who even even if something was manageable, if you could take a pill and it could be managed, which is better to manage it or to not have it? <laughs> and so I chose to not have it. And so in that I dealt with my mind in that time of L U and I was determined to to line my to line my will up with yes. God's will and his word. Mm -hmm. See, listen, we are trying to do things outside of the word of God. God is connected to his word, and he's not concerned about our emotions and our feelings. Your emotions and feelings is not word. And that's how we get caught up, because we feel there's a way it should be done, but the word tells us there's a way, you know, that, that, seems, may, right. that seems right to man. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, but the thing is, we parents, because we lack of knowledge, because we don't know the word, and we think it's all about just, you know, stay, you know, like playing some music or whatever, and that's all good. But you got to have this word because the word is going to help you to, it's going to build you in you a way and watch your mind. Word. My goodness. And that, I, I mean, it's powerful. See, the word is powerful. And I want you to get, fall in love with the word. And if you not, ask God to help you to fall in love with reading his word. And so what I did was I read that word and I, and I was determined to be sealed in peace. And from there, and now, once you get it, man, I, I get that. I thought I didn't deal with that for that year. Oh, it was easier the next year. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. It gets easier and easier. So I just encourage you, fight for this thing. Fight, fight for it. Get in that place with the word, with the word of God. That's what's going to destroy the, you know, destroy those things. Okay, go ahead and pause it, but... <laughs> Uh, go ahead, go ahead. But you know, it's, I'm it's like, it's a lot. It's, it this, definitely is a lot. This is critical. I'm just like, this is critical. So even when we think about Rosh Hashanah, uh, it is the uh, head of the new year, of course, mm -hmm. and it's a time of uh, now. This sets up and it leads into because we do say, may you have a good inscribing. But our sealing happens on Yom Kippur, which mm -hmm. is the Day of Atonement, which we're going to cover that. So we're looking to double mm -hmm. back and come back again, if the Lord say the same, uh, again before Yom Kippur so that you guys can be ready on that. And we'll be teaching again. So there's a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that we've done, we've never uh, uh, had it this way where we went live before. Um, speaking about El Yul, speaking about these different mm -hmm. things. So this is new to us, yes. uh, but God is expanding us. But during this time of Rosh Hashanah, uh, it, it, it emphasizes our special relationship that we have with our creator, uh, uh, our, our dependence upon him, and uh, us understanding his kingship, mm -hmm. his lordship understanding who he is because we, we, we've learned and we say the phrase the king is in the field but do you really understand the king Come that's on, coming to the you king. do you really understand why he's coming to you why does the king love you so because usually mm -hmm. the, the king in most situations they'd be like man i'm not leaving this this, this court that i have to go talk to the peasants or uh -uh. talk to the individuals the it, what they might king. consider low life because they're a king so anybody that's not really bringing something to them right. or benefiting them they don't care about them, but this king. Come on, the, our king, our king. <laughs> come on, break that down. Because listen, because there's a um what King Charles, right? He was just um crown king. He he probably wouldn't come talking to us. He's not. He he's not going to meet us in the field. I mean, not that we're not you know even we're not bashing him or anything. Right? No, 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 no. Right, and we're not part of that country. But I'm just saying, like, just generally, okay. And, but but the, you couldn't go see him. Right, if you, you to. couldn't. Like I'm in England, I want to see the king. Right. Good luck with that. Right. <laughs> uh, uh, no, <laughs> that's not going to happen. Okay. But how ahead. much more important is our heavenly Father Come on. in what He does for us? Uh, and also, what happens as we talk about uh, Rosh Hashanah? It is uh, the anniversary of Adam and Eve. It talks Come about on. that. Uh, where we 
we think about what the uh, first Adam did, but we also think about what the second. Come on, Adam you did know that's my. Jesus. You know. So uh, that's your language, yeah, right? Yeah, you, you. That's my. So, question. but we understand just those things that happen with that, and this is a time that they say that there is a renewal of the lease mm. of the whole world of everything. Come on, mankind. We all pass before uh, the Lord, and He decides whether He's going to renew Come our on, lease, Ali. renew, allow Come for on. us to be on this Get earth that. yet another year. Oh. Plus a day, right? So, right. He, so he, 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 th that's the emphasis that's on that. A lot of times people be like, you never thought that the new year meant anything more than just stuff about you. But mm, God is mm. saying, come on now. Come on. I am going much deeper than this. It's about me making sure that you're in a better position, but also you recognizing who I am. Yes. When we recognize who God is in our life and understand that relationship, that's like a blessing. A blessing on a blessing. A blessing on top of a blessing on top of a blessing. Because uh, one thing that I just, you know, I, I heard somebody say this. He was like, um, he, said, he said, a smart man learns from their mistakes. A wise man learns from other people's Come on. mistakes. Yes. So when we think about just those things of that, how we have missed out on so many different things, I was like, God, you opening this up wow. has allowed for me to be like, okay, this is where I belong. And I, like I said on one of our nuggets, I am an LU a baby. So I was born during that time. So I'm excited about that. But, so you know, when we think about this time of renewal of a lease, and there's mm. so much more that I'm going to talk about a little bit. I'm going to just give a little nuggets because our time is fine. I know we but can't give it all, y'all. So when what? we think about it, we think about just this time of Rosh Hashanah on the head of the new year, God is renewing his lease mm. upon the mm. world. But, you know, some people may not make it. Mm. So we want to make sure that we're right. This is why we do things to make sure yeah. that we're in position so that we can be right, so that mm. God can say, okay, yes, there's another year for Come you. On. Oh. Because sometimes we take stuff for granted. Father. We just we just automatically assume I'm telling you. that we are going to be here. Yeah. But this makes you break down, stop, pause, wow. and say, hey, God, I am thankful and That's so good. grateful and I'm looking forward to a new year. But, Lord, if you allow it, trust me, I'm going to make the best out mm. of it. If somebody told you, you know, you'll hear people saying that they have 10 days to live. So now they're trying to do everything mm -hmm. that they can. But God is saying, come on, I want you to be involved in this relationship Ooh. with me every single time. Every day. Every day. Every day. Don't let it be just a special moment, but be seeking me all the time. Mm. But now I'm putting greater emphasis on our relationship because this is our anniversary. This is our anniversary. The Woo! anniversary of mankind. What? This yeah, our I hope y'all getting excited. Okay. Is it just us? I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm so excited. Um, This is so good. Come on. Come on. Break so, that down. So, so, we, so when we talk about the renewal of the lease, <laughs> it goes even deeper. It's just mm. not about life and death, but it's about who shall be in poverty, who shall be in rich, Come on. who shall fall, who shall rise. All of these things, when we talk about that, is, 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 is God is just taking account for this and writing this down because he writes out the whole year mm. ahead of time. So when we do what we're supposed to do and we're in position, then he's writing out. We're talking about inscribing. Mm. So that inscribing Come becomes on. important that he's writing down what he's going to do for us for the entire year. So if you're missing this, Right? If you're missing this, you're missing a good inscriber. You're missing because you, you're not even in position. You're Come on. three or four months later, and God is like, but see, there's still but, grace and there's still mercy right, right. that he's been keeping us. But now that we know, how could we go forward without I, acknowledging I it? Come on. Are, are you guys getting this? Listen. <laughs> this is so this is so good. Are you guys getting this? Listen, um, it, I pause. I don't. Go ahead. Go ahead. I just want to um, take you to this one scripture that God um, reminded me of. And we're talking about this is the, um, like, almost like the birthday of the creation of man, That's mankind, exactly. mm -hmm. okay? And, and Apostle talked about that. And then God gave me this, Psalm 8. And four, you don't have that, do you? I mean, I, mean, I, I believe I do. But <laughs> and we all know this is a, a familiar scripture. What is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visited Ooh. him? Come on, listen. Do you not hear that? That y'all visit? This is the time he's visiting 
okay? For thou hast made him a little more than the angels and has crowned him with glory and honor. Do you understand the love? I mean, I mean, we, 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 we need Holy Spirit to help us to comprehend the breadth and the width and the height and the depth of his love. But I'm telling you, it definitely is, it is greater than any love that man could give. That's for sure. That's for sure. I may sure. not be able to measure sure. it all. Sure. <laughs> but absolutely greater than man. And this is what God, it said, what is man? Like, basically, man is nothing. Man is dust. Like, man is dust. This is, this flesh is dust, right? And it, and, and and when we're absent from this body and present with the Lord, it returns to the ground, right? It's nothing, right? I went dust. We, we take a, a towel and get rid of dust. Dust is nothing. Dust is not. <laughs> dust, dust. We don't like dust. And but, but who is man that you are so mindful? That's good. So he created these times for us. So go ahead. Go ahead. I want you to know. To, you know, make it personal. He created this for you. He created this for me. He created this for us. He created this for mankind. So just to give you emphasis, I'm just going to cover some things because a lot of times we don't understand mm. and we don't look at the timing of something. Mm. You know, mm. we just don't. It's just the way that we are. We um, we allow for the things that are important of the world to be on our calendar. Like we'll be like, oh, it's pancake day today. Let me right. go out and get some pancakes. Or it's... Uh, a plus, uh, you better... It's, I mean, it's just like Holy they make Spirit. every day on the calendar. It's like something. Okay? Right. Holy it's Spirit. It's go shake somebody's hand. Right. I mean, it's just that's the way that things are. But we don't take an emphasis God's calendar. So Woo! we just think about so that. Good. So uh, on uh, Rosh, uh, Rosh Hashanah becomes important because, first of all, mm. Abraham was born on that day. Mm. So and that was about, what, 1813 B.C.? A mm -hmm. hundred years later, uh, his son Isaac was born on Rosh Hashanah. Amazing how that happened, right? Wow. And then we talk about, you know, 36 years later, there was an incident that happened, of course, when Abraham was about to sacrifice, what, his son Isaac. But then there was, God did something special from Come that on. point. Not only did uh, he, he decided it was time to renew Isaac's lease, Right? So, his, so he renewed That's good. So because Isaac wasn't killed So there was a ram right, that right. was taken in, So God renewed his lease he upon his it. life As he passed before him yeah. Right come on now but I'm, 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 I'm going to teach on that on another time come on. But I ain't going to dive too deep into that His but, lease you know, was renewed His lease was renewed So we think about just those different things That you know happen These things happen on Rosh Hashanah So when we go and we look through uh, The timing of a different thing We'll see that things have happened mm. On these days and it has an importance of yes. that. But I don't know about you, but I like a lease being renewed. If yes. I'm leasing something, yes. when I used to rent, we used to rent right. and stuff like that, we wanted our lease to be and renewed. No, we it, didn't want to be right. put out. It's right? saying, like, um, we, can no, we cannot renew your lease. Yikes. <laughs> Yikers. Like, <laughs> are you, seriously? <laughs> but, you know, it also becomes important, too, because uh, as we commemorate that day, uh, and then we're going to, you know, move on, you know, from that because I don't mm. want to get too deep. This is just once Come again on. a taste. Right, we uh, can't. So, uh, <laughs> but you know, we we commemorate this day with just a few things, and uh, we understand usually on this day, um, mm. the scripture, uh, Psalms thirty four mm. eight. Oh, Come taste on. and see that the Lord is good. Bless is the man that trusteth in Him. Uh, this becomes, I mean, powerful because I understand what David meant with mm -hmm. that because. For the new year, one of the things that we do is that we dip an apple, apple into honey, honey, and you taste that. Oh, that's uh, sweet. And, and it's, 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 I mean, I did, I've never really tasted that before I until know. this time. Right. Because usually I have an apple, I have honey, I never put them together. Right. But, but it is delish, absolutely yummy <laughs> to your tummy. Like, seriously. Exactly. When you put those together, mm -hmm. it, it, it changes some things. And we talk, and we always <laughs> say it changes some it things, changes, right? right? So, but this is how sweet. Sweet God mm. is to, this is how Ooh. sweet our new oh, year is going to be. See. This is how sweet how He's going to change some things that has that 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 because mm. we've already put ourselves in position yes. for change. If you've been following El Yule, and if not, there's still are some days because we still Come got till sundown there's on Sunday before Rosh Hashanah starts. But I'm telling you, you still have some days to get yourself together. Do not miss the 
this opportunity to finish strong. Because when on. we fin- we want to finish like we want to start. So when we do this, it puts us in a better position. I'm telling you, guys, it's been getting better and better for me. Mm-hmm. It's been getting better for me. Better for my family, right. better for behold, better for my friends. I mean, all those people who have gravitated and acknowledged this. And, 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 and if you don't ask God to touch your heart, but I'm telling you that you're missing out on something. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. sometimes only, I mean, you can speak this to a million people, mm-hmm. but only those who truly want it. Right. Only those who God has revealed his right. he has to. to. He has to. He has we'll to. get it. Yeah. And, and, and if you have not, it's all right. Mm-hmm. You, I pray that one day, when the time is right, he will open your right. heart for this. But right. this is what God says to us. Oh, my goodness. Us. It's so awesome. This is so yummy. Oh, taste and see. And, uh, and my um, my good friend, um, Apostle Celia's, um Dean, and she's been talking to me. And we've been talking a lot about distractions. And she's mm. been really ministering that, that word to me um, lately. And I just really, and, and it's so... Um, but fitting during this time because you may find yourself being distracted by some things. Mm. The, the, because the enemy understands. See, what we have to understand is that just because we don't know don't mean that the enemy don't know. And he, oh, he knows. knows. <laughs> he knows this. He knows this to be evident. He knows that this is true. And the thing is, he may be trying to distract you. And if you find yourself being distracted, I just want to speak this into your on, into your him. into your ear gates and that you you know that it goes to your heart and your mind that you bind that thing up you look at that watch look and see what's going on around you that's trying to distract you that's going wants you to go in and, and 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 to and to be inscribed in chaos and mass and um her pain all Watch, look, there are distractions all around, especially around this time. Just look, just think about it. The distractions, and I, we come against the distractions. Yes. And we thank the Lord that he removes all distractions, all, distractions. all, 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 all things that would try to hinder yes, us yes, from yes. being able to see come and on. us being able to, to hear them. what he is doing. We are the Lord's. We know his voice, and another one we will not follow. We will only follow the voice of the Lord. And I thank you, Father, for unclogging the ears, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, removing any spiritual distractions in the name of Jesus, removing the the, the scales from the eyes, the spiritual scales from the eyes that 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 your people can see, Father. That they can see what you're doing. That they will know. They will not miss it this time. They will not miss it this time. And so I just bless. I just uh, uh, say this blessing to you. Speak this blessing to you. I pray that you receive it. In Jesus name. And let's, let, let's fight for this. The kingdom suffers violent, violent. And the violent take it by force. Take your peace by force. Mm. Take your joy by force. Okay? And you have to, guys. Uh, we remember uh, many years ago that when this stuff, uh, and when God opened our eyes to this, it was just new on so many different levels. We had not heard of this. Didn't even know mm-hmm. these days existed. Didn't know these things were happening. Mm-hmm. Did, just had no idea. no idea. And God said, I'm going to take you into a deeper dive of this so that you can understand it. And he opened up our eyes. He yes. opened up our hearts. So this becomes important that your heart be open. Because sometimes you can be accustomed to doing something. But that don't mean that what you were doing was right. Right. You've been accustomed to doing stuff. The wrong way instead of the right way. But that's why LU will become so important to help break that habit. Mm-hmm. To make us make a true assessment of ourselves. Yes. So if you've been constantly just bumping up against a wall this mm-hmm. year, not mm-hmm. getting through, then that means that you're missing something. And this is an intricate part. We were missing something. And when this came, it just felt right in all the right places. And we was yeah. like, God, we thank you for thank just opening you. up our eyes. It has, uh, I mean... When you think about this, by following God's calendar, it helps you. It helps your family. It helps mm-hmm. your marriages. It helps you oh know, my just goodness. the people I'm that you know. Because you. 
God specifically aligns certain things. We think about Shabbat just taking that time. That is family time. That's God is saying, stop, time, pause, y'all. come on, do what you need to do. When we think about uh, 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 Pesha, we think about uh, uh, Pentecost, we think about, you know, I mean, just all these different things and all these different timings of, you know, God is saying, hey, I'm here. I'm waiting for you. I'm present. I'm present. Thank he's you. A I'm present. present. He's a present help. I'm present. I'm mm. here. You know, you know those fancy ones when we were in school and we would be like, we everybody say here, here. And then that one I always had to say present. Like, <laughs> God, God is that one. God, the evil eye. Right. Be like <laughs> present. Get out of here. But God is saying when we call, he said present. Mm. When we call on him, present, I'm here. And so he's a Hasn't held. He's present, and we. Oof, mm. This is. I just hope. So that, you know. Oh. Um, I mean, I will be uh, speaking a message for Rosh Hashanah on Sunday, so you can tune in to mm. uh, be whole Christian Center on Sunday if you want a continuation of this, or else be in the place where yes. God will be unleashing more. Uh, I can't give y'all everything. There's right. a lot. This is mm-hmm. just a nugget. That's why we have to just stop before we just start rolling. Exactly. And I still couldn't get right. enough. We got to stop. We, <laughs> we, we got to right. stop. We have to So uh, we are stopping. So uh, I do want to cover some things with you guys on what's coming up on our Hebraic calendar. Mm. We want to make sure that we're understanding these days uh, and these times. So we know that, of course, with El Yul, uh, which began on Sunday, August 28th, and it went all the way. It was going until Sunday, what? Uh, September 25th, which is going to be sundown. Uh, and then we think about Rosh Hashanah. It is a two-day event. Mm-hmm. Rosh Hashanah begins on Sunday, September 25th, 22nd, and ends on Tuesday, September 22nd. So it is a two-day celebration and an event where the shofar is blown a mm-hmm. hundred times. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to blow it a hundred times. Come on, I'm going you can to, do it. I'm, I'm going to uh, go out blasting, right? <laughs> uh, so I'm going to start early uh, start early and, Sunday. And so our neighbor's kids. Yeah, um, so they can just be like, what is going like, on? But I'm telling you, I remember <laughs> one time I blew my shofar. And I knew, and I never even spoke this to prophets, but it's like I heard a shofar being blown. In, in that background, it was very faint, but I heard you it. You heard it. And somebody, I said, wow. Whoop. Somebody. Somebody got the revelation. But somebody see, and understand. see, that's the thing is because I've never heard that before. Mm. But because I was blowing the show so far outside, it awakened somebody <laughs> and called them to return. Come on. So blowing the show far, like, why are you blowing it? It's a conversation piece. Why are you blowing the show far? You can explain why you're blowing right. the show far. And then that becomes a testimony within itself. It's the sound, the wake up. Come on, let's I'll, change. Let's make some changes. So also to understand that Yom Kippur, of course, is going to begin on October 4th. And it's going to end on October uh, 5th. So this will be posted on BBB Hill Ministry. So you can have these dates. We're going to go into Sukkot, which is going to begin October 9th mm-hmm. uh, and end on October 16th. That is a seven-day celebration mm-hmm. that we get to do. And I am going to be celebrating. Celebrate good times. Come, Come on. on. Okay. So I'm going, singing, I'm, gonna yes, I'm going to be celebrating. Yes, I'm going to be singing in my <laughs> off voice. Don't worry about it. It's all right. <laughs> God thinks it sounds I excellent, know. right? He, he receives. Yes, he does. He, 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 he receives, receives that. And then we have something we're going to be talking about new uh, that we have not done with BBD Hill Ministries, and that is going to be Hanukkah. So we're going to be talking mm. about that. So we have a lot of great things that are coming up. Yes. And once again, it will be a nugget. So, uh, man, uh, covering that information, so are you guys ready? ready because we are going to have our phrase our phrase now i have the the privilege of doing this one so uh um it's it's awesome i'm excited about it so i am going to say it but it's dealing with our ceiling and inscribing yes, 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 so yes. uh it's going to be are you ready it's going to be lashana tova tkeva ite hayim and that means may you be sealed and may you be inscribed and sealed for a good year. So I'm going to say that again. <laughs> Lashana Tova. Okay, so that's the easy part. Lashana Tova. Right? Say that with me. Lashana Tova. Right? And it's going to be TKE. Say TKE. 
Thank you. And then it's going to be <laughs> Vatai Hayim. Vatai Hayim. So, Lashana Tova, TKE, Hatai, Hatai, Vatai Hayim. I'm going to say it again. So, Lashana Tova, Kitei, Vatai Hayim. So this means may you be sealed and inscribed for a good year. Come so on, now this is not just a phrase. So screenshot this, you know, work on it, of course. But this is your Hebrew for today. I'm going to say it one more time. Lashona Tova Tikeif Vatai Hayim. So when you say that, that is may you be sealed and inscribed for a good year. So you have to keep. Some words of silence, some letters. You're right. thinking that they're there, but they're not there. Right. So Hebrew will fool you. Yes. It'll make you think. Uh, you, if you're trying to look at it by the English way, you will not get it. I guarantee you. Mm -hmm. You're going to mispronounce it. And then also, there is dialect. So when people talk about the pronunciation of Hebrew, depending on where you're from, right. your pronunciation is going to be different. Yes. Like you got people in New York. I know right. that when I hear somebody from New York, I get that Brooklyn. Right. You know, you yeah, get right. that. Yeah. Somebody from down south, they got that little southern Right. On it, yeah, and know. then they can tell when we're from Chicago exactly. or we're from the, 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 from the north, but it's just the way that we speak. <laughs> and then, then by our language that some people, like we might say pop, they be like, what's a pop? Right. Like, soda. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's different things of mm -hmm. that nature mm -hmm. based upon where you're from. Right. But we're learning this together. You have learned, may you be may you be inscribed and sealed for a good year. And this is a blessing that we're speaking upon you yes. so that when this time comes, that you Jesus. will be sealed and inscribed for a good year. And I'm going to go one beyond that. A great year. A great year. A great year. A great year. So that is your Hebrew word for today. Amen. So right now, we are going to go into our gifts. What do we have for them? All right. So right now. Check out this. Ooh. At BBD Hill Ministries, we want to be a blessing to those who bless us. So at this time, with any gift of $25 or more, you will receive this bracelet that spells out Yeshua in Hebrew and in English. Wearing this, people will know that you serve the one and true living God. For your donation gift of $50 or more, BBD Hill Ministries will send you this mug with the Hebrew alphabet listed. So every day that you drink from this cup, you can learn a Hebrew letter and strengthen your vocabulary. We also will be teaching phrases that you can learn so you soon will be able to speak the Hebrew. Baruch Hashem Adonai, blessed be the name of the Lord. For your donation gift of $75 or more, BBD Hill Ministries will send this pillow, letting you know, blessed be the name of the Lord, and helping you also in your Hebrew. Keep in mind one important thing, supplies are limited. We thank you for your support and everything that you have done to be a blessing to this ministry. Finances 
Amen. And so we just, you know, we just, we're thankful for those who that have. And those that have, I mean, thank you. And you can, and, and please continue um, to partner with us. But those that um, just really feel like this has been a blessing and this could really bless someone else. And this could really be a blessing to the nations, to the world. We ask you that you would sow into, into good soil, good soil. Amen. And can I say one thing? Uh, one of the things, guys, and I want to state this to you, is that when we were blessed with something, even when we were just seeking out the knowledge of this, uh, when God had us to connect with individuals or to reach out to different people, we saw we sowed a seed mm -hmm. to uh, bless them because they gave us something that blessed yes. us in such a way uh, that we wouldn't have gotten that unless God had moved us to that location Amen. to that individual at that time. Yes. So it becomes important, and and we still continue to sow even until this very day. Yes. So we just want you guys to know sowing is something that is important, mm -hmm. especially if you have been blessed and. And, and man has taken away, uh, 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 taken away to show, to make something negative that is such a positive thing. Because there are people that are not doing the right thing. There are people that have really brought, uh, uh, tried to bring shame to the kingdom. But God is saying, you know, now He's dealing with different individuals and different people. Mm -hmm. But this is good ground, and we want to state this to you guys on that point. So when you are able to sow, please sow into this. Uh, it will bless you. I'm sorry, woman. No, uh, go ahead. No, that was really good. And and so just be obey God. And 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 so we thank you. And the ways that you can sow into this ministry uh, is via Cash App at Dollar Sign BBD Hill. And then there's um, Zelle as well at BBD Hill Ministries at Gmail dot com and PayPal as well. And so you will see that. Um, on your screen right now, you can screenshot those things and, and we just thank you. And those that do, I want to make a point that those that have, um, sent in donations and things like that and, and will please email us when you send it, because we want to connect and we want to send you, um, a thank you and we want to connect with you as you know, just, we just want to connect with you. Okay. So email us at. BBD Hill Ministries at gmail.com. Or you can direct message us if that's easier. But we do want to connect with you. And with that being said, let's stay connected. Okay? Um, like our Facebook page at BBD Hill Ministries. And follow us on Instagram at BBD Hill Ministries. And YouTube at BBD Hill Ministries. If you we're blessed by this. We want to hear from you. If you want to hear something, if you want to learn something else, you've heard about something and, and you want to learn more and you feel like, and, and you believe that, you know, you can get that through here. I mean, contact us. Even if, even if you, you don't know, just, we want to connect and we just, we want to connect with you all. And we want to hear from you. If this has been a blessing to you, what blessed you? Um, and so we thank you for that. We thank you. And then those that would like to mail in, there's no shame in the game, okay? You can mail it in, okay? And you'll see the address there, um, 21200 South LaGrange <laughs> Road, number 362, Frankfurt, Illinois, 604-231136. And again, you can screenshot it. And we're just so thankful, for every partner, we want to thank you, and we want to personally thank you, and um, and so, and, and just stay connected. That's it. Amen. And so we have one more thing we want to share with you all um, before we go, okay? Oh, first of all, before I even bring that, before we talk about that, I want to, you know, you guys to remember, catch us. I mean, I know we've been coming live every day and that's going to soon come to an end. I think they've been spoiled. Yes, that's going to soon come to an end. And, but we do um, our regularly scheduled broadcast is every second Wednesday of the month at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. So meet us here every second Wednesday. Stay tuned. Stay connected with us. So you can be reminded that we are coming to you every second Wednesday of the month at 7 p.m. 
of Central Standard Time. And so before we go, we want to, um, Apostle talked about um, Shabbat. And that's a special time for family. And we wanted to share um, something with you all, uh, a, 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 you know, a little secret. Well, it's not really a secret. Um, but we want to share this with you. And you can just put that up. And we soulfully smooth. If you see that, the um, holler bread. Holler is, it's, it's, holla is the English um, translation. But kala in Hebrew. Okay. Um, bread and we get this each <laughs> week for Shabbat from Soulfully Smooth. It is life fluffy and delicious. We we um and so we you know and this is the blessing the bread that you have during Shabbat um and, and because you know they had you know used you know the bread instead of like wafers and things like that so we actually use the challah bread and it's you know the blessing and so we just say. Those that are, you know, celebrating, those are that come and um and, and be a part of that Shabbat each Friday that morning. Mm -hmm. Um Passover, all those different right. things. Yeah. You this is a great opportunity. See that, get that information, screenshot that information, reach out to So Smooth. It's so good. And mm -hmm. It is so good. And your your family's gonna your family's going to thank you. Your family's going to thank you. And it's a blessing. It's just it's just a blessing in it and just having that. Um, and just in addition to, you know, um, everything else for the table and things like that. And, and just the blessing in it. So check out Soulfully Smooth and get your holla. Your holla. Get your holla. Holla bread. <laughs> Amen. And so that is all that we have for you all tonight. I pray that something was said it was that blessed just a you. Nugget. It's it was. An hour almost. I oh know. And I mean, we could go so deep. We have been studying this for years, for <laughs> years, for years. And it is just such a blessing. I mean, that's why we always come to you really excited because it's such a blessing to be able to share this because we began studying this when people, when it wasn't, you didn't see it everywhere, people um, speaking about it and, and talking about it. We were studying it. We it's were. Like I tried to talk to people about it. They was right. They didn't want to hear. I mean, we were, you know, when we were celebrating, we were keeping this, these times, and it has blessed our home. And when I tell you, it has blessed our home. It has blessed our family. Okay, it has blessed those that are around us that have, you know, that um, caught the vision. Okay, I'm telling you, this is a blessing. And this is that secret, those those uh, mysteries, rather. Those mysteries that are that we just weren't aware of. And you, most people are not teaching. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. Not, not teaching it. I mean... Um, and, and so we want to just continue to be able to teach it. We want to go deeper. We want to give you guys so much of this information. We want, we don't want to overload you, but we want you to get it. We want you to be free. We want you to be whole. And that means in every aspect of your life, every aspect of your life to be whole. And so with that being said, we are done um, make sure you guys just share it out, rewatch it, and so once again, we'll be looking to come to you guys, and may you have a good, is, good inscribing coming up here, because we will not, we will say the same, we plan to come again on next Wednesday uh, to do it right before uh, Yom Kippur, so we've got a lot of stuff to cover, but if you are staying on our mm -hmm. Facebook page, mm -hmm. you will know what's going on, and soon yes. there'll be a lot of information we still been trying to get over YouTube, so we might surprise you on <laughs> one time to get over there. But we, trust me, be on the lookout. Be so on the if lookout. You, if, you, if, if you check in every day, mm -hmm. you'll know when we're going to be on there. So, and then you can always watch the rebroadcast. Yeah. That. So, like, share, subscribe. Go to that. We love you guys. We want you to have a, a, a blessed head of the new year. Yes. Rosh Hashanah is Sunday, sundown. Come on. A two-day event. Mm -hmm. Don't miss it. We're selling tickets, right? We're selling, <laughs> We're selling tickets uh, to get you prepared for the two-day event. Two Don't event. miss it. Two Come on. Event. Tickets are obedience. Yes. <laughs> you now, that's what you need Come to Come on. That's the ticket. To do it. That's the ticket. That's how you get in. That's obedience. How you get in. obedience. I love that. That, was, that. that right there. That so, was that was dope. So with that being said, 
This is Apostle Benton Hill. This is Prophetess Hill. This is BBD Hill Ministries. We love you. We thank you. And we're out. Shalom.